Good day folks, just a little update on some peg cell research. I found out that the composition that works the best is simply mixing the um, the um, peg 3350 powder and this has to be 100%, 100% you see here. So just a little review for those who are always wondering and asking what's peg, this is peg. We usually put just a drop of hot water or soda melt in and let them dry into a solid state electrolyte for our power cells. And this is a cell I made back in, um, basically in the winter and it's the composition, basically this stuff here. But what I did is I mixed it with a few squirts of um, electrolyte sports drink, you know, the concentrated squirts. And it seems to work well, it still puts out around one volt and this was done in the winter time. So one of my original cells. So I made the same composition here, and it's running a clock just fine, as you can see. So that's why I call it the peg cell clock. And something else that does kind of a discovery I made is it also runs those um, one-chip greeting cards, if you know what I mean, just fine. So what one could do theoretically is record a crude waveform, audio waveform, maybe... Uh, 400 hertz or something like that and pass it instead of the um, see this is a piezo i believe i think so so what would happen there is put it in line with a coil to get the piezoelectric activity from this i don't know i'm just thinking about this on the fly here but some ideas maybe to utilize the peg cell but um it's running the clock just fine so based on this composition right here and the whole idea is for this to run months if not perhaps even years so of course we can't um get away from the natural corrosion we get from the moisture in the air that's quite normal even with a zamboni pile which could last maybe 300 years well built by the way which i would consider pretty good Needless to say, some like to argue, right, and say, oh, geez, it's not infinite, it's not free in the sense that eventually corrosion will get to it. But we can, various electrode configurations and doping and whatnot will help with the long lastivity of that. Alongside of using nearly zero um, current helps us to maintain this reaction to a minimal. So there you have it. 12, 13. I didn't bother programming it. I just wanted to show that it works. So in far away, that's all there is to it based on the same as this here. And here's the peg. I found out that this option here, this is um, a no-name brand. Same thing, works just as well. Half the price, by the way. So the option plus brand. So I'm just doing some more experiment. I'm just thinking of, you know, recording a waveform on one of those greeting card chips and then putting through a coil and seeing what kind of interaction the um, we can get with that. Assuming this is a piezo speaker. I think it is. Crystal speaker. If not, we could always put one on there, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Some things to think about, folks, and always looking forward to your comments. And there you have it, Peg Cell Clock. I hope you enjoyed just some inspiration.